Howdy, Laz here. Another day in paradise here at the beach. These are the tires which you'll recognize. They're drying, but every artist needs a canvas. And the canvas we're going to use is right here. Yes, we're gonna turn this into a piece of art. Right now it's a POS to some people, but it's gonna be great. So let me shuffle some cars around here and get it in the shop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the shop here with the car. The canvas, I should say. Hmm, the squeak is the chair that I'm sitting in while I use the wheels to pan. Another beautiful day. In California that's the canvas how are we gonna make this unique let me get some blue tape start taping it off and we'll see that's a great patina and then I have a high gloss varathene on top of it so it always looks wet but getting back to the canvas I've taped off the side of the car so essentially I'm going to extend a little bit into the front fender which by the way the fenders on this year Cadillac are not metal these are like a PVC material but I've painted it to look like it's rusty anyway so I'm extending into that fender that's a V8 tag from a Cougar by the way and go through the passenger door, the rear passenger door, and then I'm doing a little awkward dog leg there. But the idea is I'm going to do an abstract piece of art on the side of this car. So symmetry is important, but flow is more important, which you will see. And now what I'm going to do is I'll prime it because a canvas usually starts out white. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I like to show people exactly what I'm using. So this is Rust-Oleum flat white oil based paint. That's what I'm going to put on the car, the Lazalac, to create the background for the canvas to create the abstract painting. As you can see, I'm still applying the first coat of the flat white Rust-Oleum. I'll put two coats on it, but just using a two inch brush, piece of cardboard as a drop cloth, and applying it. This will get more refined as it becomes a piece of art but it's just better to work with a white canvas when you're working with, and I'm going to use acrylic paints and then clear coat over it. So let me get back to painting. Okay, we have the first coat on. And I've mentioned this before, but if you don't have a lot of money, you can take an ordinary boring car, such as this Sedan DeVille by Cadillac, and you can make it your own. The great thing is, if you don't like how the painting is turning out, you can repaint it. You can paint the whole thing flat black. You can take it to a one day paint store and paint it lime green. You can put plastisol uh, rubberized paint on it. But personalize it. Everybody talks about, oh, I'm an individual, I'm independent. Yeah, prove it to me. Wear your clothes the way you want to wear them. Drive the car you want to drive. Okay, I'll show you after the second coat. Howdy. Well, here it is. That's two coats of flat white Rust-Oleum oil-based paint, which is masked off. And there are some lap marks in there, but what's great about this is from all the different things I've done to this car, 
I hope you can see this. This has a very nice gritty texture to it. So this will help the look of the abstract that I'm doing. Also, I'm not worried about the keyhole because acetone will take that off. Just over time, it'll wear off, but it'll be in the painting and you probably won't even see it. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and pull the masking tape and start thinking about what sort of design I'm gonna put on this. Again, don't be afraid to experiment. If you go through life and you buy everything brand new, I hope you have a lot of money. Learn to be resourceful. This will develop your painting skills, your creativity will come out, and people will want to talk to you because they're going to go, this guy's crazy, or wow, this guy's creative. Let me offer him some money. So this painting took less than an hour. I'm not going to clean the brush out. Why, you ask? Because it'll dry up and then I can push on the end and I can use it for stippling, which is an effect in painting. So I'll let that brush move on to its next useful life. I've pulled the tape. For some reason, it reminds me of a police car or taxi cab, but that white stretch of canvas won't be white for long. But I gotta let it dry for a few days to really be solidly dry before I start working it into a piece of art. And the edges, because of the non-smoothness of the surface, you can see there's a little indistinction in the line, but I will blend that into the car because if you look at the car, ta-da, need I say more. Until next time, subscribe and thank you for watching.